Okay, here's our second player segment. We're going to meet Richard Martinez. He wears number 30, plays a linebacker spot, and he's also a senior. We welcome you, Richard. How are you doing? Thanks for having us here. Okay, and his companion, his teammate, Jeffrey Simon. He wears number 70. He's on the offensive line, and he's also a senior. Jeffrey, welcome. Thank you. Okay, uh, we're going to talk to you just as we did to your, your uh, fellow teammates. And you, the inspiration, what, what, what made you or do, made you decide or help you to decide that you wanted to be a football player at Roosevelt and get into this program with Coach Sid? Uh, I've always been in sports since I was younger. So, okay. um, you know, uh, I try, tried out different sports, soccer, baseball, basketball. Okay. okay. And I, uh, I kind of just one day decided to play football, you know. Yeah. My, uh, my uncle, uh, Carlos, Carlos Vasquez, he, uh, kind of, he's the one that really pushes me and got me into, uh, playing Pop Warner at Wolfpack. Okay. And, uh, you know, having a really good support team at home helps, okay. you know, with what you want to do and stuff. So my mom and my mom, okay. <laughs> my mom's a big fan of, of Roosevelt, of, of me, of, you know, it's supporting what I do. And okay. Really now, you mentioned the name Carlos Vasquez, and I think it rings a bell to me, but I'm not sure if he's if I if he's the same person that's your uncle. Yeah. Um, did he also uh, go to Roosevelt? Uh, or, he or play in the area here somewhere. He played basketball, but yeah, it wasn't basketball there. player. Yeah. Okay, possibly we'll we'll talk off camera. Yeah. But uh, um, here you are now at Roosevelt, and prior to Roosevelt, what junior uh, middle school? I went to uh, Stevenson. Stevenson, okay. Stevenson Middle School. Okay. And uh, thus far, you, you've been in the program for quite a bit. How has that helped you to mature as a, as a player and as an athlete and as a student? I think uh, one thing as a, oh, Coach Sid stresses a lot and, and from our um, other coaching staff, you know, academics do come first. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Coach Sid rather see us go to college academically rather than through mm -hmm. football. And I think sure. that's rare in the coaches. And, and I want to thank him for that, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's really like he's planted that seed in us, most you know everybody. Okay. That you know schools first, and that's where you win the games. Okay. And Good. That's, that's okay. It. And hypothetically, we're imagining that uh, we're all watching that uh, we're at Shakey's Pizza uh, on a Sunday, or even on Saturday. And I ask the same question: Any players that have dynamically uh, made an impression on you that you said, "Hey, if he can do it like that, I, I might want to strive to get my game." Similar to what he does. Any players in, in particular? <laughs> the truth, I really don't have. I don't really look up to. Okay. I I, I don't. I watch sport, like football, to <laughs> to um to practice reading. You know. Oh. Football, okay. So, I mean, All right. Other than that, I don't really. Okay. Know. So, no one in particular. But <laughs> here you are in the middle of a game, and you're playing a, a very very important position. Okay. We'll come back to you, Richard. Let's go and speak to to Jeffrey and kind of give you the same opportunity, Jeffrey. Where did it start? Where did that bug b bite you? And who pushed you? And who kept you in the game? Um, well, it all started with my father. Mm -hmm. He was a two-time All-American at Banning High School. Oh, wow. Over there down in the oh. Bay Area. Oh, my well, goodness. Long Beach. Whoa. Home okay. Area, so. Okay. And um, very proud of that. So, yeah, and his name is? Jeffrey Simon as well. Okay. But he's a senior. Okay. All right. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, so, in the family, the roots are there. Yes. Okay. Well, grandfather played football, uncles. Wow. Football is actually like top priority in my family. Okay. Even though some people do go off to play basketball, like my cousins and stuff like that. Okay. So. Okay. And uh, now at Roosevelt, you've matured, you've blended in, you, you know the game, you've got a lot of fundamentals down pat, and you're going to put them all together for this final season. So let's talk about the preparation for that. Um, well, all of our coaches are preparing us very well. Our new offensive line coach is teaching me a lot of things I didn't know before. Mm -hmm. My technique's getting better. Oh, technique's getting better, just learning a few things, a lot of things, actually. Mm -hmm. Learning how, learning the game of football, basically. Yeah. Like, actually learning it for the first time, I actually put my eyes into it, open up my eyes, mm -hmm. like what, so, what you can do with so much and what you can do with so little also. Okay. And then, like, paying attention to detail, it's like about the small things in football. Okay. An inch can either win the game for you sure. or lose the game for you. Oh, they're huge, they're huge. And, as they say, scoring points and making impressions in the classroom. That automatically comes, I'm sure, from your family, stressing that you know you can't play without getting those grades. Yes, sir. And let's talk a little bit about what you like in school. That, that's the best subject. Oh well, I have a 3.8 GPA. I'm um, oh. taking a few AP classes. Hmm. Okay. My favorite subject is history because I okay. had a great history teacher in Mr. Gibbs. Okay. Which many people may know or whatever. Okay. Sure. But he actually caught my interest in history. Okay. All right. Now let's talk about uh, the O line. They always say. O-line is, is doing the unsung hero's work. Every day, 
you're in there blasting the holes open or oh, doing good. something, working working hard. Right. Let's talk about your passion for, for hitting people, opening holes, getting the running back through. Well, you know, like like they say, O line all work, no glory. But this year, we, I know for sure we have a dedicated O line. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to get in there and play. Everybody wants a chance to, you know, open the holes for the running backs. And we have a great we have a great backfield with mm -hmm. our running backs and our quarterbacks. We have a great offense actually, okay. you right. know, ready to like O line is just there. You know, we're ready mm -hmm. to open up the holes. You know? Okay. Um, the, the the hypothetical question: We we were watching a game or two, mm -hmm. and and anyone come to mind for you that patterned your game after maybe? Uh, uh, you look for someone that gives you a little bit of a uh, to help you get, get an edge on the field. Mm, let's see. Pro, well, he's not, he's not exactly. Yeah, he could well, be a pro, pro or college player. Yeah. Sure. He's not an offensive lineman, but he's a defensive tackle. He goes okay. by the name of Jamal Williams. Okay. He plays for the San Diego Chargers. Like yes. every time I watch him, he goes all out on every play. He shows a hard work ethic, work ethic, uh -huh. and he never gives up. And okay. <laughs> to me, that inspires me, you know, because sometimes I have the urge to like give up, but then like I have players on my team that keep pushing me to be better. Okay. They won't let me give up. Okay. So. The speed of core, the chemistry. Let's go back to Richard here in our uh, last couple of questions here. Um, Roosevelt versus Garfield. I, I, I can say many, many things about the number of games I've seen, but unless you're on that field of play, there's nothing that can compare to it. Let's talk about your experiences on, on, at East LA College or wherever you happen to play um, the Garfield Bulldogs. Talk about that for your career. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's really no words to explain it, but I mean, it's just, you have to, I <laughs> You know, once you step into that stadium, you see everything. You know, like uh, you you get that little experience. You know, of, you know how college is like, and it kind of pushes you. You know, to mm -hmm. to um, expand your career. But it's you know, for like that one night, you see all your community, everybody there, just supporting you, mm -hmm. your team, and it's it's really inspiring. You know, you see uh, everybody has one. You know, mm -hmm. even though they're di we're divided. But <laughs> We're yeah. still there as one. They say, uh, as they say, in the middle of the eye of the hurricane, because on the outside, the fans and everybody, and inside, it's it's another war on the floor yeah. and the field. But it seems to be a little bit more control, like they said, the control chaos. But it's 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 an event that you will always have it, to carry yeah. with you there's, for the rest of your of your Like lives. I said, there's really no words to explain <laughs> it. You just okay have All to right. experience it. I mean, okay, and, and Jeffrey, your 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 take on that? Um, well, to me, like I know it's a big game. There's mm -hmm. so many people out there. I just, you know, try to block them out and just go in there and do my best because okay. I can't let that get to me. I can't let them give me brain farts. I've got to go out there and try my best on every play, every down. Okay. Just give it all. All right. Um, last questions. Um, the colleges of your choice, somebody that's in your, as they say, your site, somebody that you are going to apply, apply to, go to their school, Any, anyone in particular? Um, well, as of right now, mm -hmm. my top choice is mm -hmm. UCLA. Okay. And after that, I was hoping on Stanford. Okay. One of the two schools, because I like their schools basically like more academically than anything. Okay. And then they both have beautiful campuses. Yes. And like that's experiencing the life for me. Okay. I think uh, UCLA. Okay. I, uh, I kind of want to get into the medical field. Oh wow, wonderful. Maybe become a doctor someday. And okay. Aspire, I aspire to that. So. Okay. Giving and helping and caring. That's that's <laughs> a very very good trait to have, and it should take you quite a long way. Uh, guys, your your comments to the youngsters, real quick. Uh, just don't let anybody bring you down and uh, do do your best at everything you do and don't, uh, you know, focus on the little things, you know, because those matter. Okay. And, and Jeffrey, you get the last word? All right, what's well, all the little kids, um, everybody else out there, just work hard and never give up. Never let nobody tell you you can't do it because you always know you can do it. Okay. So just do your best. Faith, confidence, trust, all those things you get from – Many, many areas, whether it's family, friends, uh, coaches, a number of areas, but when they come, you got to be uh, well aware that that's the opportunity to take advantage of it, and it's going to carry you through a long stretch of life. So thank you, Richard, for coming in. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey, good thank luck you. in the season. We're going to learn more about you as the season opens up, but we're going to take a break, and we're coming back with Javier Sid. We're going to come back and finish up the, the two-part interview because we've still got a lot of ground to cover uh, as the Roosevelt Rough Riders prepare for their camp as the kickoff is just several weeks away. We'll be right back with more of BCLA Sports Scene.com.